This is TV Platinum. Here are the top five stories making the headlines. On number one, the House of Representatives on Thursday confirmed Lieutenant General Olufemi Uriade as the substantive chief of army staff. This confirmation followed his screening on Wednesday by the Joint Committees on Defense and Army. The committee's chairman, Honorable Baba Jimmy Benson, presented a report during plenary recommending the confirmation of Uriade. The recommendation was subsequently approved during the session presided over by the Deputy Speaker, Honorable Benjamin Carlo. On number two, the Senate on Thursday passed four tax reform bills for second reading during its plenary session. Following debates on the general principles of the bills, the President of the Senate, Senator Gosu Lakwabi, referred the bills to the Committee on Finance chaired by Senator Sani Musa. APC Niger East for further legislative action. The committee was directed to submit its report within six weeks. Prior to the debate, the Senate held a closed door session between 11.55 a.m. and 12.42 p.m. The lead debate was presented by the Senate leader, Senator Koyemi Bamidele, APC AKT Central. On number three, Pro Front Secretary Simon Epa will stand trial in Finland by May 2025, according to Finnish authorities. Epa, who was arrested alongside four others on suspicion of terrorism related activities, remains in custody at the Piaget Hamer District Court. Senior Detective Superintendent Miku Bakusen of Finland's National Bureau of Investigation announced the trial timeline, stating that Epa and Finnish authorities may request a re evaluation of the case in two weeks if necessary. Epa, a Finnish citizen of Algeria descent, faces serious allegations including terrorism financing, incitement to violence, and public incitement to commit crimes with terrorist intent. Finnish police allege that Epa used social media to incite violence in Algeria's southeast region, targeting civilians and government authorities. On number four, the federal government has rescheduled the 2024 civil service accreditation and promotion process to hold between December 2nd and 5th, 2024, following initial logistical delays. In a statement issued on Thursday by the Office of the Head of Civil Service of the Federation, led by Mrs. Didi Esther Walsing Jack, the government explained that the new date aimed to enhance coordination and ensure a smoother process. The statement referencing circular ref number HC SF slash CMO slash EM slash AOD slash 073 slash 1 slash 16 emphasized that the promotion process, an annual event for civil servants, is designed to improve efficiency and productivity within the civil service. And lastly, the federal government on Thursday inaugurated the Advanced Unmanned Aerial Vehicles Laboratory in Abuja, aimed at driving innovation in the drone technology for national security and agricultural productivity. The event was attended by key officials including the Minister of Innovation, Science and Technology Uche Naji and the Director General of the National Space Research and Development Agency, Dr. Matthew Adepoju. Speaking at the ceremony, Naji disclosed the laboratory as a critical milestone in advancing Algeria's drone capabilities. He highlighted its diverse applications, including monitoring security threats, improving agricultural output tracking, and enhancing the revenue collection. Those are the top stories. Do subscribe and follow us across all our platforms to get more of this update.